Thanks for checking out 3D Products. I'm Donald Williams. We're going to go and show you today how to use 3D's 502 Finishing Polish. Now the Finishing Polish is a special polish. It's not a glaze, it's not a filler of any type. It's an actual abrasive that's designed to level your finish to create the ultimate flawless finish in your clear coat or even in your single stage paint to bring out that really lustrous color. Now you look here we have 501 has gone over and we removed 1500 uh, sand scratches with a wool pad. Most people are pretty scared of this type of, of job here. You got a lot of wool uh, swirl marks, a lot of wool pad marks, a lot of holograms and pretty much everyone else in the industry is going to take at least two more steps. Or if they say they have a one step where it's going to take a long time to do this. We're worried about an overall body of work here. We want to make sure we shorten it down as, and do as least amount of work as possible to create that great shine. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to shine up and create transparency in your clear coat or in your color, bring depth out on those single stage paints. So what I'm gonna do real quick is we're gonna put a tape line down here. So I wanna show you the stages. We're gonna bring the, the life back to, and the shine back to this section of the paint. And then we'll show you the step from where we started all the way to the end to show you what the power and the strength of AAT 501 and 502 can do for you, your shop and your business. And if you're just that weekend user, how beneficial it will be to bring a little bit more joy back into taking care of your baby. So we've taken and put a nice piece of tape here. So to show transition, what we're going to do is we're going to start here and we're going to polish this area. We'll pull the tape line to show you the definite difference. And then we're gonna actually going to take and we're going to use a wax and grease remover, prep all to remove anything that you guys would consider or anyone would consider a filler. Uh, just to show you that we're actually doing true paint correction. We're not depending on any type of artificial gloss or artificial fillers in here to, to, to maybe uh, impersonate a shine. We want to actually create real gloss. So we're going to take the 502, we're going to pair it with the uh, brand new Spider finishing pad, the K58 SBK. We're going to put it on our, also our brand new K99 flexible backing plate. Now one of the things that's unique about this backing plate is it is flexible but it's also firm enough to keep the surface flat for when you're polishing because you want to make sure that you can keep your pad nice and flat so when you're on it you can uh, get the nice firmness but when there's contours you're able to go up and down kind of make sure you get as much pad surface on the vehicle as you can. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is because it's a brand new pad take some detail spray part 503 and just give it a little spritz because the pad's dry. And you want to do that with the finishing, the 502 finishing polish. Just because it is a true abrasive, there's no artificial lubricants to make sure that we have absolutely no fillers. Now you don't need a lot of high speed on this. You're going to keep the speed down uh, roughly around 1,000 RPMs. You can go 900, 1,200, anywhere around there. No big deal. You can go a little higher if you want to, but again, that's personal preference. Uh, we just prefer you be around 1100 to keep the heat down, uh, have a little bit more control, create a little bit more longevity in the polish. So we're going to take turn this on. Now you're going to end up going a nice, even back and forth motion, very little pressure at all. Let the machine, the pad, and the polish do the work. Go back and forth. Now this is not a glaze, not intended to have any type of filling aspects of it. So you don't have to use it all the way through. You just want to use it until you see that all the wool pad marks are gone. The only assumption that you should have when you're doing this is that there shouldn't be any holograms because that dictates on the way you use the machine. If you want to make sure that you have no holograms, you keep the pad nice and flat. Make sure you get as much the pad surface there to do the correction. One of the mistakes a lot of people have is they go up on edge when they're finishing like this because it looks like it's correcting faster, which it is correcting faster, but then what you're doing is you're canoeing the paint. So to keep that from happening, and which creates holograms, so to keep that from happening, we created this unique pad and the polish to make sure that you can keep the pad area nice and flat so you don't have any holograms. You can see it correcting right off the bat. Also, this has enough strength that if you had some sand scratches that were left over, you can actually remove the sand scratches with the 502. Because it is a non-diminishing abrasive, it will actually remove these sand scratches that we have right here. We'll go over it one last time. Make sure our holograms are gone. There we go. Make sure we don't have any towel marks. We could take part 503, the detailing spray here. And uh, because this is now just fresh paint, just to give you a little bit of a glide while you're wiping off the polish, 
Eliminate tail marks. You can use this, and that'll show you a definite difference here. And then, this, then, final test to show that we have absolutely no fillers, absolutely true paint correction. I'm gonna take the wax and grease remover by Prep All. I use this to prep surfaces to make sure that you, the surface is nice and clean for painting. So it's kind of how important it is to make sure, or that's how strong this is to make sure that we get a good, honest assessment here. Go ahead and clean this off. There you go, get a flawless, perfect hologram free finish. This is where we started, right here, with 1,500 sand scratches. Removed it with AAT 501. Finished it in the second step with AAT 502. From all of us at 3D International, we appreciate you taking the time to check out our 3D products AAT 502 finishing polish. We know it's gonna increase the productivity in your shop, in your detail base, and at home. It's gonna bring a little bit more joy back to detailing for those that wanna really make sure they take care of their cars, they have that want that showroom finish. So take your time, find out uh, a little bit more about 3D's latest and greatest innovative car care products that we're constantly trying to improve and get better and better every day so that you guys can really turn to us as the press professionals and the experts in the car care business. Until next time, I'm Donald Williams. We'll see you then.